Hello, 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 subscribers. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the love and the support. Um, I want to thank all of you that comment. I love comments. Please, if I'm going to respond, I always do. Um, I have something to say, and most of you guys, I just agree with everything because it's so good. It feels like I'm having a conversation with you guys in my home, so... I do, I do enjoy it a, a lot, the feedback. Um, I, some, some of the comments, I just start laughing or crying, laughing. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. Thank you. Um, I also want to thank, once again, the Duchess of Narciss, um, Narcissus, excuse me. I want to thank the Duchess of Narcissus for her beautiful, beautiful shout out. Um, she pushed me over the mark, 5,000 subscribers. Honestly, I never thought I would get there, but my subscribers believe in me and um, I just think it's awesome. So I do appreciate you guys. Paula M also gave me a shout out and also Sue Smith. So I do appreciate those ladies because they don't have to, you know, they're established. They got great stations. They don't, you know, but for them to take time out of their busy schedule to say something nice about little old me, I definitely can say thank you to them. Thank you. Um, so I feel like what I've been, we've been talking about it's really heavy on my mind. When I say heavy, that's where the rants come in and, and I just start going. And so in late, the, the last thing that I've done was actually her on the stage calling out people, calling out women, calling out other women that have an opinion about her and telling us that, you know, the things that we may say may be vile or bullying in her case. And I took offense to it because I feel like she can try to cover up her deeds, her misdeeds, if she wants to, but what she's not gonna do is allow us to shut up and say, wait a minute, you got it wrong. Because what she tries to do is she tries to pretend like it's everybody else's fault for whatever she's going through. Now it's our fault, it's the media's fault, it's the online fault, it's the executives, the executives fault for allowing themselves to have a platform where I can go on there and have an opinion about her. It's their fault. Then it's my fault for sharing my videos with you guys and then you sharing it with someone else about Megan's behavior. But instead of calling it what it is, us calling out a liar, a manipulator, a narcissistic person, a person that a lot of people don't like. She calls it bullying. I call it foul. Now, something just happened recently. I'm going to move on. Um, and I've already said my little prayer because <laughs> I just don't know what I'm going to say. But I hope whatever I say that it, um, you guys enjoy it. So, Little Bit and Daddy have been playing hide and seek. Uh oh. Sorry, she was like trying to tell Daddy what TV show she wanted to watch, and Daddy kept getting it wrong. So mommy had to go help. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. So 
But I want to, um, I, de I definitely want to talk about Catherine and the picture and all the controversy behind that. I do want to talk about a Megan and Ubaldi. Mm -hmm. And I also want to talk about Samantha. And let's just start with Samantha. I, um, which is Megan's sister. Megan says she doesn't have any sisters, but that was a lie. So anyway, I heard today on the Royal Grift that Samantha has lost her lawsuit and they have dismissed it. But what's interesting to me is, is that how journalists like to put on the screen as if Samantha um, if Megan won something, this Megan Marco wins case under sister's defamation case. It sounds like these journalists are starting to get under my skin. It sounds like that Megan had a lawsuit against Samantha and uh, Megan won. That's how they have it almost worded in these newspapers and outlets over here in the United States. Because what I am trying to figure out is all of a sudden they are talking about it. Before, when they said that the, um, when Samantha's lawyers had said that the judge said that they were going to court in November. They didn't report that. They wasn't saying, oh, um, Samantha has a case against, some was, but not all. Not TMZ and the rest of them and page six. It wasn't explaining and going over that Samantha had a case against her sister during that time. But now that the case is over or being, I don't know if she's going to um, file an appeal or not, Samantha. But my point is, is that Megan didn't win anything. She's not a winner. She's a loser in this, and she will always be a loser. Number one, because her sister had to have a defamation case come against her in the first place. She should have never had to do something like that for someone that's this philanthropist, someone that cares about people's mental health. Somebody that's run over there to Uvalde to sing happy birthday to somebody like she cares. She is trying to fix her image, and she thinks this is the way to fix her image. And I don't know about you guys, but the verdict is already out. It's over. <laughs> you can't fix that. You The damage is already done. And then not, not just the damage is already done that Megan has done, is that she continues to do it. She continues to attack or offend or be rude or disrespectful to those that made her a philanthropist, as she call it. This woman of substance that she thinks she is. Harry's family made you famous. And the very family that made you famous, you can't stand them. You're so jealous of their fame. That's what I believe it is. I believe that Megan wants to be on the top. And she thought that Harry was going to get her at the top. And now that she realized that he's limited, it is what it is. But I do believe that she holds some real heavy grudges against her in-laws for one reason only. And that's because they're powerful, rich, and, um, and she's not them. How dare you become a royal? How dare you become something as great as a princess? Because you got married to this prince. Your prince has come to a, on a white horse to come get you. And then you get on a horse and start demanding things and, and changing the horse and doing all kinds of stuff until it's all broken. 
because as much as Megan would like to think that she's having this good, lovely time and uh-oh, she's done with that Samantha thing. That's off her shoulders. Now she can focus on da 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 No. Again, the mere fact that your sister had to, had to present anything in court about your behavior, about who you are, as a, who your character is, says something a lot about who you are and who you're not. And you're not that person that people keep introducing you as. The Duchess of Sussex and the founder of Archwell's greatest hits. I think it was disgusting that she went over there and to Texas, Uvalde, and spent time with that family and singing happy birthday and making the visit about her. Someone said that she's trying to be like Diana. I think I, I think this uh, Kinsley is going to say it, which makes no sense. But because that's not how Diana rolled. But she was trying to say that Diana does it in the background. Megan wants to be seen. But she wants us to pretend like she cared about what happened to those kids when that gunman went and killed those kids. But what I would not be able to understand is how do you care about a stranger when you don't even care about the people that 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 love you, the people that are that are supposed to be your family? Because it's not like it's just one family member that she's having issues with. She's having issues with each and every family member, from her family to Harry's family. And so you can't tell me that you're this big, wonderful, loving, caring, a motherly type influencer, someone that can just change the world type of person when your personality says something totally different. And the reason why, the reason why you need a PR team in, um, in Great Britain is because your popularity is shot. And now you're trying to get advice from them how to fix it. Well, somebody says stop lying and tell the truth and then apologize. But no, Megan got to keep the story going on that there were racists and they were mean to her and all this other stuff. But she failed to realize that when she attacks them, them meaning the royal family, the monarchy, you attack the British people. But see, Megan hasn't realized that because she's stuck on self. She's not going to, she needs to be worried about her, her popularity here in the United States. Because her selective few celebrity A-list of friends that she supposedly have is dwindling. Or has dwindled. The Osbournes don't like her. Okay, Megyn Kelly, Candace Owens, the Republicans, the Democrats, neither side. Megan is a fake, phony fraud, and she's a thug. Because for the, the it really chaps my buttons. <laughs> That's what people will say in the country. You know, it really disturbs me. When she got on there the other day on that on that stage and started blaming others for bullying, it it, it I will I did two videos on it. I'm not going to do another one tonight. <laughs> you see me getting started. How dare you get on TV again and make a ASS out of yourself? Because she did. Whining, setting the scene. It was Archie and Lilibet when they were newborns. And I was getting the worst kind. I was being bullied. By who? Some fake person that she makes up every now and then. 
How are we supposed to believe that when she lies all the time? I'm just saying. If she wasn't this big liar, then why did she need to get a fact checker? She started her lie, her lying debut probably earlier than the uh, Oprah show, but that's when I saw it. No, people don't like you because of who you are. You say you're this person, but you show that you are not. The way you have d dismissed your husband, he looks like a pet. And then you're running around like you're the golden ticket into um, the royal family. And you're, you're actually five foot out. I don't even think the royals recognize Megan as being a part of the royal family anymore. She's under others in the website. They don't even talk about her. They don't conversate. They're not seeking out them. But Megan is always looking and watching and seeing what they're doing. Oh, yes. But she told us the other day on the TV show uh -huh, that she doesn't watch all the bullying and all the media and all that anymore. She doesn't do that. That's that stupid stuff. Megan is right now watching something that has to do with her. And if it doesn't have to do with her, it has to do with the royal family. Because she has a comment on everything that they do. Anything that's coming out of Mount Cito is being approved by Megan. And word on the street is, I'm going to read it. Hold on. Okay. I'm all over the place, I know. So this video may be long. Let's get to, let's skip over to Catherine, okay? So Catherine put, Catherine or William, them together, put out a photo of the family, okay? Showing Catherine in the middle and the kids on the side smiling. Well, there was something wrong with this picture. There was a lot of edit mistakes. And so they took the video, the picture down and then they moved on and then um, Catherine put out a statement stating that she made some mistakes. And I, I thought that was interesting. All of it was because my emotions was doing this. My first thought was, oh, okay. So they got a picture that they put together to show us. And I said, ooh. I said, is it a picture that um, she just took? Is it, you know, you, your brain started thinking, where did they get the picture? How new is this picture? If they're piecing it together to make a nice family photo. And so word on the street is, it's a photo was taken last week by um, Prince William. Prince William. Yes. So yesterday I was confused. I was like, oh, wow, I wonder what they're going to do about this situation. And so Catherine came out today with a statement stating that she edited, but she made some mistakes. Now, I believe it's true. Why would she come out and say that if she didn't? And why, and, and wait a minute, and what's his name? What's his name? He's starting to concern me. Um, Tom Bauer. Tom Bauer said that who's ever advising her is not advising them correctly. They, they were trying to say that this situation shouldn't have went down the way it did. And I'm just like, okay, now... Two or three things was going on. I said at first, I said, okay, what's going on with the photo? Or is Catherine okay? That was my thought. Then I moved on till today. And when she said what she said, that she messed the photo up or whatever, I was like, okay, wow. I said, but 
even though she messed up the photos or the photos, shop, whatever, it still made people wonder. And there was conspiracy theories. You know, all that was going on. My same thought was, I hope everything is okay. I just hope everything is okay. You know, with her and everything and, and William. That's my bottom line there. I was more concerned with all that more so than I was anything else. If that makes sense. Okay. So anyway, Megan's spokesperson has came out and said something. Okay, it's getting to my point earlier. I know, I'm skipping over. Sources close to Harry and Megan says, so me, I, I'm close to Harry and Megan. Now, Megan is not going to let you say anything on her behalf unless you get it from the horse's mouth or she'll come out and says no. So I'm going to reread this and say, Megan and Harry, the Sussexes, would have been annihilated if they made some Photoshop mistakes as Kate. Megan and Harry said that they would have been annihilated. So my thought was, who would have annihilated you? Who would have went after you? Who would have went after you? Why would they have to went after you? And uh, opposed to not going after Catherine. What makes you different? My first thought was because no one likes you. They don't like you. So they are going to find something. If it had been her picture, and because the Harry with all that hair, remember he was standing there and she was like the woman of the year. Anyway, they photoshopped that. So I didn't care. I didn't. A lot of people did. They did memes. They did all kind. Of, listen, Megan is on AI a lot. Yes, she is. She's a joke. Now, my first thought, again, when I heard that they would have been annihilated, I was like, who are they talking about? Are they talking about the royal family would have annihilated them? Or the press would have annihilated them? They weren't specific. They just said they would have been annihilated. They would have just been destroyed. If it had been them, if it had been Megan and Harry that put out the picture, they would have been destroyed. And I just wanted to just let them know, well, yes, you would have been. Number one, because no one likes you. And the reason why nobody likes you is because of Mexit, because, because of your wife, because your gold digging wife uh, convinced you that she was some damsel in distress. You left your family for it. Came over here. You're trying to make her a million star. A, 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 a millionaire. Then she gets on TV and trashes the family that made her, you know, famous. And so people started looking in on it and saying to them, saying to themselves, okay, she's not nice. She's not a nice person. This isn't, nice people don't treat people like this. Nice people don't treat family like this for no reason. Megan treated the royal family mean for no reason other than to rise up and so she could have a reason to leave. And now she wants, they want to play with the media and say if it had been us, they would have just raped us. Okay, so I thought the other day when you sat on that couch and was lying with them other women on International Day stating that you don't look at the news. You don't watch the tabloids. You don't watch that stuff. So wouldn't your sister-in-law being in a paper and all of that, isn't that, you know, all that 
you know, messy stuff? Isn't that getting into people's business you shouldn't be in? Or, you know, period. Why do you even care? What does that got to do with you? I thought you didn't watch the news. I thought you didn't look at stuff. You're so worried about what's going on over there in the UK that they didn't even get, give them enough time to even remove the picture before Meghan and Harry decided they wanted to put out this statement that they would have been destroyed. That's why I think Meghan thinks this is a game that, that the royal family is out to get her or the media is out to get her or just trying to make parallels or show that that is happening. So she can say, see, I told you they were after us. I told you it was a two hour car chase. I told you the paparazzi was taking pictures. I told you they were racist. I told you they didn't like us. No, I told you if it had been us, we would have been bullied. That's what she's saying. If it had been her, she would have been talked about. Yes. Yeah, you would have. That is a known fact. And you can compare yourself to someone else. This is the stupid part. This is the part where it really, where my, this can go on all night. Comparing her to somebody like Catherine, it's disgraceful. It's just disgusting. You can't compare class, humble, um, kind. Um, you can't compare a woman like Catherine to an insect like Megan. It just doesn't work. It's like oil and water. Move it. Okay? And so it's a little insulting but this is Megan comparing herself to senior royals, to a king and a future queen, to a future king and queen. She's comparing her relationships, how it plays out in the media, because who is she talking about? She would have been annihilated. By whom? By the media? By the press? by YouTubers, be specific. And then why are you comparing yourself to your in-laws? Why are you comparing yourself as if you can? You are nothing like them. You can't compare yourself to them. You can't compare yourself to a lot of women. And it, it would be hard. See, she can't even compare herself to like Beyonce and say, you know, if it had been Beyonce, you know, um, they wouldn't have, if it had been, you, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm putting Catherine and Beyonce's spot for just a second because no matter what woman is, no matter who it would have been, you can't compare trying to get it out. <laughs> Megan is sitting at home watching the news and comparing herself to Catherine and saying how they would have been really mean to her. Who they is, I don't know. We would have to ask her. But this is what she said according to the news. Okay? Harry and Megan said that they would have been annihilated. If they had made some Photoshop mistakes. And then, <laughs> this is going to piss some of you off. They use S. Kate. Not Catherine. Not the Princess of Wales. But I'll do it. Megan and Harry said that they would have been annihilated. If it had been them. The Beyonce part. So if it was Beyonce instead of Catherine, Megan comparing herself to Beyonce. Quit comparing yourself to people and others and things and, and situations because you are not a Catherine. And not that Catherine needs forgiving for anything. Nope. Because she has already came out and said, oh. okay, we're going to move on. 
because I, I don't know what I was saying. And then number two, I had just been talking and talking. But my let me go back because I want to talk about her on Women's Day telling us that she doesn't watch TV and she doesn't, hold on. Okay, so I'm playing what Megan said the other day when she was sitting on the couch with those women and telling us how she does not listen to us, to the people, to YouTube, to the media. Here we go. Yes, social media is a environment that I think has a lot of that, you know, I, censorship time it's really interesting as i can reflect on it i keep my distance from it right now just for my own um well-being but the bulk of the bullying and abuse i just stay away from it from the time being just for my sanity she said that when she was on um she said that when she was on the uh docuseries she said that on the Oprah show, she said that in an interview, how she doesn't watch and look at things anymore. I remember when Tyler, per Tyler Perry told her, don't listen to it, don't watch the news. She is watching the news. And I'm, the reason why I did all of that is because Megan and Harry is responding to a picture with Catherine that has nothing to do with them at all. They just want to have something to say. Something to say. And it, to me, it once again doesn't make her look like this wonderful, oh, that she can handle stuff. She can't just shut the hell up. Harry and Meghan, the Sussexes, would have been annihilated if they had made some Photoshop mistakes as Catherine. But in instinct, this this really gets to the ending. But I, I want to get through this because it's just a bunch of bull. You don't watch the news. You don't look at the news. You don't want to see what's going on or being said. But you're quick to respond to something that's happening over there in Great Britain, Britain that has nothing to do with you. And then, but... Once again, she's comparing herself to Catherine. She is comparing this incident to Catherine. Not the fact that Catherine's been sick and ill and Megan hasn't reached out and said, I hope everything is okay. No, like a decent sister-in-law. No, she's worried about what pe other people would say if she had a Photoshop and stuff. That's why Megan will never be popular. That's why her, her she'll never be able to, uh, her reputation be able to turn around and WME is never going to be able to do anything and that contract is about to run out. And and even if it's not, it, it's not going to work. Okay. And then this Great Britain that she's going to go over there and get her a PR and they're going to help her um, deal with the people in the UK to bring her back to some type of um, fan base. No, it's not happening. And this is why it's not happening. Because you're fake. Because you're fake. You got on TV lecturing. That's what pissed me off. Lecturing. Talking to women. Telling us about what we should do. How we should act. And how we should help one another. And she goes around comparing herself to her sister-in-law. Treating her own sister like trash. Yeah, the one that the, she lost the case. Samantha didn't, she lost the case, but Megan didn't win anything. Megan is a loser. She is a loser. She was a loser in 2023 and she's a loser now. And I'm just re reminding us why. And so, okay, when they called you a loser and a hypocrite, what side are they on? Are, are, are they on the bullying side or on their factual side? Are they on the comedy side? Which one? Was South Park bullying Megan or were they just joking? 
Now Megan is full of it. Now she's all the way over there in the UK talking about a Photoshop picture, which she has nothing to do with. Shouldn't have said anything about it. Shouldn't have raised a breath about it. They're going to compare her if she was in that situation. She's always thinking about herself 24-7, a days a week, all the time. When she went to Uvalde and sang that happy birthday song, that was about Megan. She wanted, and she, I don't know why, I'm, she, I know Hollywood sees it. Hollywood sees Megan trying to do things to make people believe that she's not what we see. Like she's actually really a nice, kind, and loving person that went all the way over to Uvalde and baked them a cake and sang happy birthday. Took pictures, videos, it's everywhere. Megan in Uvalde, taking pictures with the victims' families. What? What about her Ill ailing father? Her ailing father, he's not doing well. Catherine is recovering. Megan making stupid statements, but she doesn't watch the media. You're all up in it because you have something to say. Your spokesperson have spoken. And then they also wanted to let her know, too, that they took a dig, too. Then it goes on to say, the Duchess wouldn't have had a slip up because of freakish attention to detail. So since Megan is perfect and she's perfect with detail, that she wouldn't have messed up. In other words, she wouldn't have had a Photoshop blunder. And see, that's that stupid stuff because people have receipts. They have Photoshop moments with her. There was a photo that came out with her. She wasn't pretty. They got mad at the, the Sussex squad got pissed off at the woman that posted the picture of Megan. She said she had no idea. I don't I don't think she, I, I don't know if she took the fo photo down or not, but Megan wasn't filtered. She wasn't looking good and the squad got mad. I just don't understand why it's important for Megan to comment on stuff like this and make herself don't look like she's a caring person because she wanted to let everybody know she's not clumsy enough. I'm, I'm not clumsy enough to leave all of that going on. I, I pay attention to detail. I'm a detail oriented person. See, that, could, that wouldn't have never happened to me anyway. You arrogant. That's what I got out of the note. And maybe I'm taking it too far. But to me, if you're going to, if a source close to me is going to say something on my behalf, then I'm going to own up to it. And so if she didn't say this, then she needs to come out and say, uh-uh, I didn't say that. I know she didn't. I know she said this stuff, just like she put Catherine and King Charles in a book during Christmas and then pretended like she didn't know what was going on. I wouldn't be surprised, and this is just me, I don't really think Megan really cares about the, the, the well-being of her in-laws. I don't. If she cared about them a little bit, then why is she just not coming out saying anything? This is her first time saying something after the book, after after the website. Well, she said something with that. Like she's her Catherine has been getting well. And Megan wants to let everybody know that she pays attention to detail and she's perfect and this would have never happened if it would it was her. But if it was her, then you guys, whoever she's talking about, would have annihilated her. Who? Doesn't that sound familiar when Megan was saying they did this to her 
and they did that to her when she was on the Oprah show. We were trying to figure out who they was. There's a there's a royal rotor, and then there's these pictures, and then yeah, and then in tandem, you know about the um, race. Um, is he gonna get? Is he going to get titles and security because he's chocolate? Well, we supposed to believe this, what she's saying, sitting on TV, lecturing to us, talking stupid. She can't give me advice. She can't say nothing to me. She can't even look like she's talking to me. If she, No, 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 and no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move on from that, okay? Yes, and I know I talked about Uvalde. She looks like an idiot. She still hasn't went and saw her father. He's had two strokes, and I, I think, or two heart attacks and a stroke, something. Three. It's something with three. And she hasn't even given him a call, but she's talking about some happy birthday to you. We've been keeping in touch. That's that stupid stuff. What them family should have did was say, listen, take your PR digging person trying to get some publicity from over here like you're some saint. She got up on that stage and talked about herself the whole time she was up there. The bullying thing, she could have talked about anyone. She could she could have used someone else as an example, but she used herself. But what kills me is that she don't see her bullying. She didn't she didn't see that she went into that castle, had the women crying, and quitting their job that had been there for years. And she has nothing to say about that because she's more important than they are. That's how she treated them. Like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm more important than you. I'm your new boss. Get used to it. Go get me some chocolate milk. And I want it here at 2.08 every day. <laughs> it, it just, it blows my mind that... If it was me, it wouldn't have been me because um, my um, I pay attention to detail. But if it had been me, they would have annihilated me and Harry. Yep, that's true. That is not that is not a fake statement. That is absolutely you're correct because they don't like you. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when people when you lose fans. And you you lose people's trust, uh huh. And you lose you lose that fan base that you once had. Me and most of my subscribers. Then that's it, and you haven't even began the road to recovery. You all running around talking about you didn't won against your sister. You didn't win anything. That's not winning. Winning. That's not winning. First of all, for having to be in a case where you are um, being mean and disrespectful to your sister. She's on a fixed income. Megan's contribution, being married to Harry, probably would have helped her out get a little, little bit more funds. But no, that's, I'm just going to be greedy. I'm going to be greedy. I would have said, yeah, that's my sister. Mm -hmm. Get her book here. Yep, she needs the money. Yes, I've been advertising everybody. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. Thomas Marco Jr. Yes, that's my brother. No, she cut them off like shoot. Cut them off. Cut them off. But now she over there, Uvalde, talking about happy birthday. I want to say, get this half up. 
out of my house. She don't even know me. She don't even know me. Oh, since she's in the, uh, -uh. Megan was in the neighborhood. Megan playing that to a T. She's strategic. She does things strategic. Okay, I got one video. It's, listen, this is going to be the intro to this video, okay? So, I'm it's too long. I can't do that to you guys. Kisses to all of you. I hope you enjoyed what I had to say. This is part two of it. Kisses and have a wonderful night. And please, don't forget to hit like, share, and comment. And come back and see your girl, okay? Oh, I forgot the Mimi song. Let's do it right now. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, again. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yeah. Sorry if I didn't do it right, but that's the Mimi show. Sorry if I didn't do it earlier. Kisses. I'll be right back. Let me do one more.